Hello everyone! In this episode, learn how to evaluate functions with Sir Jeric. What does it mean to evaluate functions? Let's find out! Evaluating functions means finding the value of f of x or y that corresponds to a given value of x. In evaluating functions, we simply replace or substitute the variable x with a given number or expression. For example, suppose we have the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Again, the given function has the function name f. The variable x is the input, and 2x plus 1 is the output. Take note, the function notation is being read as f of x and it means the value of f at x. It does not mean f times x. Moving on, let's evaluate the given function at x equals 3. We are just going to substitute 3 for x at the given function. So we are going to write f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Replace x with 3. It will become f of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 plus 1. Simplify it. f of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1. Get the sum of 6 and 1. So, the value of the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 at x equals 3 is 7. Let's have more examples. We will evaluate the following functions at x equals 2.5. We have here 5 functions. Let's evaluate first. q of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2 at x equals 2.5. First, write the given function. q of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 2. Then, replace x with the given value, which is 2.5. So it will become q of 2.5 is equal to 2.5 squared minus 2 times 2.5 plus 2. Simplify it. So q.2.5 is equal to the square of 2.5, which means 2.5 times 2.5 is equal to 6.25. Then get the product of negative 2 and 2.5. Negative 2 times 2.5 is equal to negative 5 plus 2. Continue the process. So it will become 6.25 minus 5 is 1.25 plus 2. So our final answer, Q of 2.5 is equal to 3.25. Now let's proceed with the second function. The second function is a radical function. Now, let's evaluate it at x equals 2.5. So, g of x is equal to the square root of x minus 1.5. Replace x with the given value of it, which is 2.5. It will become g of 2.5 is equal to the square root of 2.5 minus 1.5. Then, what is the difference between 2.5 and 1.5? The answer is 1. What is the square root of 1? When we say square root, we are looking for a number that when we multiply it by itself, the answer is the given number. So the square root of 1 is 1. Therefore, at x equals 2.5, g of x is equal to square root of x minus 1.5 is equal to 1. This time, let us try to evaluate a rational function. We are going to use the same value of x which is 2.5. Here is our solution. r of x is equal to 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Substitute the value of x which is 2.5. So we have r of 2.5 is equal to 2 times 2.5 plus 1 divided by 2.5 minus 1. Simplify. So we will have 2 times 2.5 is 5 plus 1. 2.5 minus 1 is equal to 1.5. Let's continue the process. So 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 divided by 1.5. What is the answer? So the quotient of 6 and 1.5 is 4. Therefore, 
at x equals to 2.5, the value of r of x is equal to 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 is 4. The next function is an example of a floor function. This symbol is being read as floor x. When you see this symbol, this means that you need to round down the given value of x. For example, the floor value of 3.3 .3 and 3.9 are the same, which is 3. Evaluate this floor function at x is equal to 2.5. f of x is equal to floor x plus 1. Substitute the value of x, which is 2.5. It will become f of 2.5 is equal to the floor value of 2.5 plus 1. So what is the floor value of 2.5? Just round it down. So 2.5 will become 2. So f of 2.5 is equal to 2 plus 1. Therefore, our final answer is 3. The last function that we are going to evaluate is an example of a ceiling function. This symbol is being read as seal x. When you see this symbol, you are going to round up the given value of x. It is the opposite of the floor function. For example, the ceiling value of 3.3 .3 and 3.9 are the same, which is 4. Moving on, let us evaluate the given ceiling function at x is equal to 2.5. So here is our solution. h of x is equal to 25 times the seal value of x minus 2. Substitute the value of x. h of 2.5 is equal to 25 times the seal value of 2.5 minus 2. Simplify. h of 2.5 is equal to 25 times 2.5 minus 2 is equal to 0 0.5. This time, get the seal value of 0 0.5. Just round up 0 0.5. So we are going to have h of 2.5 is equal to 25 times 1. So our final answer is h of 2.5 is equal to 25. At this point in time, let us try these examples. Let f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 5x minus 3 and g of x is equal to 2x minus 1. Find each of the following. Number 1, f of 3a and number 2, g of a plus 2. To answer this, just look at the function name. For number 1, we will use the function f. And for number 2, we are going to use the function g. Let us find the value of f of 3a. Here's our solution. f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 5x minus 3. Substitute the value of x which is 3a. f of 3a is equal to negative 3a squared plus 5 times 3a minus 3. Simplify. f of 3a is equal to negative. The square of 3a is 3 times 3 equals 9 and a times a equals a squared. So we have 9a squared plus 5 times 3a is equal to 15a. Continue the process. f of 3a is equal to so we are going to multiply negative 1 times positive 9a squared. The result is negative 9a squared plus 15a minus 3. Now, we cannot simplify it further because they are not similar terms. 9a, I mean negative 9a squared and 15a are not similar terms because they have the same variable, yes, but they have different degrees. Similar terms are terms na pareho ang variable and ang exponent at the same time. Now, let us find g of a plus 2. Here's our solution. g of x is equal to 2x minus 1. Substitute the value of x which is a plus 2. So, we will have g of a plus 2 is equal to 2 times a plus 2 minus 1. This time, we are going to apply the distributive property of multiplication to find the product of 2 and a plus 2. This means we are going to multiply 2 and a and 2 and 2. So, magiging g of a plus 2 is equal to 2 times a is equal to 2a. Then, 2 times 2 is equal to positive 4 minus 1. 
combine similar terms? Do we have similar terms? If meron, what are the similar terms? 2a and 4 are not similar terms, therefore we cannot add them. But 4 and negative 1 are similar terms, therefore we can simplify it. So our final answer will be g of a plus 2 is equal to 2a plus 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.